Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be clarifying a misconception that's come up in the Overwatch University subreddit. Uh, there was a thread that was promoting the right click and then discord combo, which is perfectly viable. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want to make sure everyone understand, understands how it works. So let's get into it. So I'm going to immediately, I'm going to right click and then immediately discord. So, okay. So right there, you can see it, it did just under two bars of damage. That's 50 health. Uh, so it did 46 damage. That's how much damage Zenyatta's left and right clicks do um, without Discord. With Discord, we should have seen it just be over two bars, uh, 60 damage. Well, technically just under 60 damage, but topic for a different day. So uh, knowing this, um, you can make sure that ideally you are you have your target already discorded beforehand. But obviously that's not always possible, which is why this combo is perfectly viable. Sometimes you need to do this. Um, cool. So the next part of this misconception is that Discord can travel between targets, like it can bounce between them. That's actually not the case. I wish it was, but it, it doesn't do that. It always travels from the position of Zen. So what you're going to see here is uh, I have this target discorded on the right. I'm going to uh, left click and then discord this target on the left. So right there, you can see again, just under two bars. So what this means is when you're kind of, you know, in a fight, uh, long distance, well, I guess technically even, you know, other distances, but specifically, you know, as Zenyatta, you want to be having long distance fights in general. And when that's happening, make sure you're not spamming your discords all the time. Like, because again, we see that there's this kind of this travel time. So if you are going for your discord to target, um, don't just kind of spam discord on, on all the people randomly. Uh, I've, I've done that sometimes. I'm guilty of that. So just make sure that you when you discord a target at long distance you probably just want to keep it on that target assuming that's the target that you actually want um cool so i hope this video was helpful if you liked it please like the video and please subscribe thank you